Hi Virgo, welcome to your mid-month reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of October, as usual, I have a special sales offer available. And for this month is a love special called The Ring, and it's inspired in this uh, relationship-oriented Libra season we are on. So if you would like to know more details about that special or any other of my services, just email me. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do so by following the PayPal link, which is down below, and as well my Facebook and Instagram page. So, Virgo. I feel like there's something here about tables turning something turning something here uh working at your uh, working at your advantage where there has been where something has been working against you so i keep getting like there's this reversal of conditions that are going to be very favorable for some of you virgos particularly when it comes to work uh, finances and uh, achievements, right? Achieving that success that um, would make you feel um, validated, acknowledged. Uh, there's something here as well about the prize in specific. So some of you could be looking to achieve a certain um, prize from um, something you participated, something you worked hard for. And for those that have done that I feel like that prize is coming in one way or another it might be that you have to keep an open mind during mid-October to process the changes that are going to happen here because it feels like there's really situations where perhaps you have been penny, uh, penniless right without any money and suddenly you have this huge um, amount of it coming this huge change in your material life that is like, whoa, where did all of this came from? Some of you, some of you could also be receiving um, some large sum of money or donation or gift that it's very valuable, expensive or precious here. Um, that is like a um, an award of some sorts to you as a person or to your work. I keep getting like there's either this compensation coming to you in terms of your work or in terms of just how good of a person you are, how amazing of a person you are. And this is about success, public success as well. So six of wands and ace of pentacles. And I feel like if this is particularly for Virgos that have been really trying to make it um, with your creative work or with your creative um, projects and aspirations because you have the ace I'm sorry, you have the Six of Wands with this Oracle card, which is self-expression. And it's the, the card that talks a lot about our creativity and the gifts that um, come from there. I also feel like for those looking for publicity, uh, investors, uh, looking again for that positive <coughs> attention to something, to a cause, to something that you consider to be important something you, again, are, are quite um, proud of to be associated with. <coughs> I'm sorry, I feel like mid-October is going to present you um, with that chance. It's not meaningless, Virgo. Whatever it is, it's not meaningless. And I keep getting like some of you might be as well very um, in this vibe of second-guessing things a little bit too much and creating a lot of confusion where there's like no questions to be made. It's like a feeling of something is coming your way, Virgo, that it's unquestionable. Like whatever it is, it's unquestionable. It is as it is. And you're trying to force doubt onto something. It could be this sabotage mechanism for some of you that are afraid of how good things are turning out to be during this time. Like questioning, why am I receiving all of this? Why is this person or that person saying that or wanting that? So a little bit suspicious, this suspicious vibe, this vibe of being a little bit, you know, 
held back when it comes to fully receiving this positive flow that is wanting to come in into your life because of the Queen of Swords and she's representative of your challenge. The Queen of Swords is a challenge and when it's not working um, to its full potential, it's someone that has huge trust issues because yes, uh, usually um, they were kind of hurt or betrayed in the past so that has been the way they created some uh, defenses and resistance right from that previous experience to not let that happen again but the danger with it is that many times this also affects the trust that should be given in the good things in life right and in the good people that in life exist so be careful that you're not confusing like using examples of whatever it was to something that it's brand new for some of you for some of you this is really new this is not um you know a, a repetition so don't judge by the past like you're getting like if this is about work or about finances or about love whatever it is don't judge it by the past because you're making a mistake by doing so and the majority of you will really have a hard time having that energy <sighs> You, because you have the Queen of Swords with the card Reflections, right? So you're putting out or projecting anxieties and fears. And again, your trust issues, your difficulties uh, onto others or your external reality and not kind of understanding that that's like a mirror work. Whatever you're seeing on the outside during this time is really mirroring to you uh, a lot of your crap, a lot of your issues, a lot of your um, excuses. I keep getting like there's so much about you, Virgo, during this time that needs to be free from useless, you know, uh, energy of the mind, like um, being in this very, uh, like this overthinking or very uh, self um critical, judgmental, uh, nagging vibe here about your own self or about what what certain what certain situation is. There's a feeling here like something Virgo that is coming up during this time is what it is. I keep getting like it's so important for some of you to understand that it is what it is. So what you are seeing is real being positive or negative what you're seeing there is real i also feel like there's an issue here of you being um biased so again your judgment is not free from like you're not impartial about the judgments you are making during this time so pay attention to that because you might be saying things making decisions and giving advice that again is not impartial and it's important that you keep that detached uh, energy when 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 dealing with important issues during this time it's important that you detach from your own feelings and opinions of it that are too personal it's almost like you need to be more impersonal in the way you evaluate uh, what's outside of you so people the characters of your story right the characters that are going to be important in this mid-october narrative for you uh and also obviously the things that are coming into you like uh, don't use again energies here that are about what you personally feel or think of it because it's going to be like this huge i keep getting like huge mistake some of you could be making a huge mistake by something here about either falsely accusing blaming someone holding someone responsible for something someone that it's not guilty of something holding them as guilty or you could be also uh called right um as being accountable for a situation uh, that you really don't have anything to do with. So 
there's that danger for some of you Virgos to be involved in situations like that. Like, um, again, a lot of lapses of judgment during this time, which is a message that came in for you in your um, general October reading. So just be mindful of that. Aside of that particular issue that I'm seeing here, I'm seeing that materially good news are coming. I feel like the Scorpio season is going to really beautifully uh, impact your material life and the life um, of your personal, when it comes to personal achievements and goals, like you perhaps will feel like it's much more easy for some of you to um, achieve things and results like immediately or with more positive outcome and feedback than before. I also feel like you are receiving pretty much um, a lot of feedback and attention during this time. So it's again like uh, it's a time where it's not to shy away from exposing the best things you have to offer. And obviously not for all of you, this will be about that energy of publicizing your work. But it could be about putting out there in the world, actively putting out there uh, the good things about you, right? So you can not only look at your weaknesses, which is the danger with the Queen of Swords is being very hard on, their, on themselves, like on herself. Like, don't look only at your flaws and your weaknesses and what's wrong with you. Look at what's good. What's your superpower? What's the greatest attribute if I would ask you that you would uh, give to yourself? I want to know, and perhaps your neighbor want, wants to know, and perhaps the neighbor next to him wants to know, and so forward. This is how we actively um, and hopefully make a change uh, for the better in the world. So don't be afraid as well to open up and be more active in the things um, that matter to you because this feeling of expression brings victory to you and it brings rewards so what it is that about you you have not been expressing that it's amazing perhaps you have this particular knowledge or uh idea belief um philosophy of life that on its own could be so inspiring and of help to someone and it can bring this death and rebirth at the same time of the Ace of Pentacles, which is a complete change in your uh, material world. Perhaps it's going to shift into you, into you, in, into you dramatically changing your work, changing jobs, perhaps um, having an opportunity to work on something you really love, having an opportunity to really attract to you uh, the best possible the best goods possible about pentacles which is all earthly goods right money comfort luxuries um the 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 gifts that are given to us from mother nature a relationship with our body how we feel in our bodies our health our activities and things that are real i also feel like some of you are about to get things to be so like real scary real but in a good way like perhaps something you didn't thought could be this real and this good happening to you obviously for some of you will not be right away during uh mid-october but it's in the direction it's like whatever you're doing during mid-october it's going to lead you to what I'm saying to you. It's going to lead you to this beautiful Ace of Pentacles, which is bringing you here a new chapter and a new beginning in your uh, material life. And again, I keep getting like, it's one of those reversal situations. Not to say that if you're doing well materially that you're going to lose it all. But um, it's a feeling like, the will is not here, but I'm picking on the energy of the will. It, it perhaps, you know, changes the constant, the only constant of this universe. So perhaps if you have been in the uprise of a particular situation in your life, that might change for now. 
it does not mean good or bad. It's just going to change into something else. Because I also feel like everyone has their turn energy. And it, maybe it's your turn, Virgo. Or it's your time to give uh, away the turn to someone else. It could be both ways. Is the, the thing is that, and again, this energy of the wheel and the change, like... The only thing here that is very important for you, Virgo, is that you don't stay stuck. Some of you are, are like in the same vibe uh, for a long time and too much, like, again, passive. Not actively promoting changes, not actively doing things to spin the wheel, right? To spin situations where you would have as well more diversity of experiences and bring best to you. So it's like... The only thing that matters right now is that you don't stay stuck, that you don't stay, you know, in the stopping vibe. Don't stop. Even if you're angry, if you're upset, if you're in doubts, if you are in this uh, moment where perhaps your personal relationships are a little bit uh, tricky or weird, don't stop. Keep doing so because you're going to bring about huge profit and benefit more than what some of you think you can achieve. So I hope you have a great mid-month. Thank you so much for all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and donating to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hopefully, we'll see each other soon.